Joining us now for the latest on the Obama spying scandal, Chris Farrell, Director of Investigations and Research for Judicial Watch. Chris, good to have you back with us. Uh, first, bring us up to date where you are uh, with the lawsuit against the State Department, the $5 million that's supposed to be uh, between USAID and, uh, and George Soros's Open Society. What in the world is going on there? Yeah, it's Let madness. me say the word Macedonia really quickly, just to make it come intriguing for everyone. <laughs> Intrigue in the, in, the, in the Balkans. So for some strange reason, uh, the State Department decided that George Soros's operation in uh, the Open Society Foundation needed $5 million of uh, our tax money, yours and mine, and many others, uh, to basically uh, use Saul Alinsky tactics to knock out the, the duly and rightfully elected center-right government in Macedonia. And so they did things like translate Alinsky's rules for radicals into Macedonian, and they're, they're, they're training youth to go out on the street and protest. Now, you're saying USAID is doing this? Uh, USAID is funding an open, so, uh, an open Society Foundation arm a Soros operation. Which are always in, political arms. Correct. In Macedonia, using our tax dollars. And, uh, well, I'm surprised the left isn't all over this because this would be, uh, this would be interference in an election <laughs> by George Soros and his open society. Oh, my goodness, surely they won't stand for that. Exactly. The hypocrisy and the irony is rich. Well, what is uh, not rich uh, but Rice is Susan Rice and the spy scandal of the Obama administration. He has been quiescent until today, uh, giving his first uh, speech in which he uh, uh, said basically nothing. Uh, but Susan Rice, the Obama administration, we're looking at the first, uh, the first uh, closed door hearing from uh, next week for the intelligence committees. Uh, is there any prospect at all that we're going to learn any more about the uh, the scope, the scale uh, of what was clearly an abuse of power within the Obama administration? Uh, I'm going to go back to my favorite song, and that is Grand Jury. That's what I want to see, a grand jury. The hearings in Congress are necessary. They're constitutionally obligated. Obviously, their oversight uh, obligation that the House uh, and Senate committees have but, you know, the behind closed door uh, sessions are one thing. The public sessions are really, uh, they're publicity stunts, both for the congressman right. and then also for the people testifying. Right, we know, I, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. We know that the former NDI, uh, uh, James Clapper, the right. former CIA director, John Brennan, both lied about the uh, extent of surveillance on the part of the, uh, invest the uh, intelligence community. Among uh, other things. Among yeah. other things. And in, in the case of uh, John Brennan, I mean, you know, his agency was surveilling. This is one of the, to me, the richest moments in, uh, in, of the Obama administration. Spying on the Senate Intelligence uh, Committee. Got away with lying about it. Got away with doing it. Yep. And here he is going back to talk to his friends on Capitol Hill. This is all about crafting a narrative, right? This is a public relations campaign. It's a domestic information operation where these guys get in front of this open session and they try to craft the narrative. They try to get all the various okay. talking heads on television and the writers to all agree on what the sort of the mutually agreed upon lie that they're going to try to sell the American public. Which they've done so well for so long. Chris they Farrell, have. and thanks to you and uh, Judicial Watch, they get away with fewer than they might otherwise. Thank you. You are correct. Thanks, Lou.